I'm gonna bring the image in a, in a in a 2D viewport because I'm gonna trace it. If you're not tracing an image and you wanna just look at it, you can bring it in the perspective. But this time, um, since I'm going to uh, be tracing it, I'm gonna tap on the space bar and go to either the side view or the front. So I'm gonna go to the side and um, uh, under view, I can Im I can bring an image plane. And I'm gonna go to the desktop and get this image. Uh, so this is uh, I can I can move it and scale it if I wanted to. Um, very vintage looking um, gas pump nozzle, and then uh, take it and move it behind the grid. That's those are the two steps. First you bring the image, then you move it behind the grid. Um, and now I'm just gonna look at it and see what kind of components I have. So all of these here, I uh, they're separate. There's like a rubber, like this pipe um, uh, hose uh, that is going to be just a separate object. So these also are these um, connectors and bolts that are also separate. This is the one that we're gonna try to make it as one piece. Um, not all of it, maybe just pieces of it. Like this part is probably a bolt that is um, a separate piece. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to start with this. Now the problem is I don't want to start, um, I would like to make everything straight so maybe I can just get this to um, line up like that. So then I can make this, It's just make your life easier by just make, every, make you know, if, if something is angled just figure out how to straighten it out and we're going to make this in an angle after. Um, so I can start with this um, Probably it's very weathered here, like from you know. Usually it's like a, a sharp hex bolt, and then it goes to um, another uh, piece that is more smooth. So we're dealing with some cylinders. Um, if I, I'll start with the small, the 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 more um, low resolution one, which is the, this first part. So I'm gonna start with that. Let me just move this so it's um, over here. on the grid and uh, I'll start with a cylinder so I can start with um, a six-sided cylinder so like a hex bolt I'm going to select it here in the side view always remember that you want to work with uh, the legacy default viewport not the viewport 2.0 and I don't need the grid I'm going to turn it off I also I cannot see anything here, so I need to turn on the wireframe on shaded. So we get the cylinder. I'm gonna position it like around there. So I'm gonna press E to rotate and uh, hold down the J key and rotate that into position. Just turn on the X-ray, and I'm not gonna scale it. I'm just gonna go to the inputs here and like make the radius smaller, height smaller, something like that. And so approximately that size, and uh, press F. And this is this is how I'm going to begin. Now um, this is uh, six sides, and I want. So here's a trick that you, you know. Um, since I'm gonna I'm gonna make this and I'm gonna press three to smooth everything out. So if I press three, obviously this is just nothing. It just becomes like a really soft and it loses its sharpness. So I'm gonna make another cylinder now and another one that is um, just bring it. I'll bring it up here with a, with a similar radius. Um, I want. Let me align that to, to this guy. So let's turn on the wireframe on shaded. So I'm gonna grab this cylinder and align it to this. So uh, to align stuff, you go to the uh, Snap Align Objects, Align Objects um, options, and <clears throat> if you reset the settings, you have uh, minimum. You have these. The selection average. We're not interested we want the second we want this guy to not move 
So we want to make sure that the last selected object rem is is going to be the origin, so where everything goes. So I'm going to go mid x y z, select that as a last object, and apply. So now this is exactly in the center. Now I'm going to press J, hold down J, and then rotate that guy, and bring it something like that. So this is how we should it should look like a hex bolt. I mean, and then you can you can you know create any sort of like bolts. And, and screws and all these industrial parts with this technique that I'm going to show you right now. Now this has six uh, subdivisions um, on the axis and this has 20. Now uh, I want to connect this piece to that so that's kind of impossible because 20 to 6 does not compute, it doesn't make sense. But um, what I'm going to do is like first get rid of um, these faces here, so uh, we don't need those because we're going to connect stuff, so this doesn't need to exist, and um, we don't need these either, so these faces, because we're going to connect these together. So how can we figure out a connection? Um, this was too early, I should not, I should actually, uh, before I connect, I should see how many subdivisions I could use on this cylinder, so I can make that uh, connection. So if you imagine that we could use one to one, let's say this edge goes to that edge, and then um, and then these two edges also go and reroute around that so they sharpen that edge. So basically what I'm going to do is a trick of sharpening the edge with a bunch of edge loops, with a couple of edge loops here, and then use that, that other, those other two points uh, to reroute those to the, to the more smoother part. So that means that for each edge here, I need three from here. So if that's six, three um, multiplied by six is 18. So I'm going to go and say 18 of those. So I'm going to, it's going to make sense now once I start. So um, I'm going to select the face. Now that I, I, I'm set to 18, I don't need these anymore. Um, I can bring this guy closer to that. And um, <coughs> And I'm going to select this uh, edge, border edge, and extrude it a little bit, give it some extrusion, so extrude, and some offset, not offset, sorry, thickness, so something like that, uh, minus 0 0.15, and this I'm going to bring, uh, the pivot point is in the middle, I want to bring it, bring it up here. So let's uh, do that. So I'll press the and hold down the D. Uh, make sure the pivot point is like moving towards that direction, and hold down the V, and with the middle mouse button, snap it here on the edge. So I can actually select that and snap it exactly on this height here, and I can also scale it down. So now I'm, I'm starting to create like that. So here's the transition. Now that's that looks kind of crazy how can we do that um, so what we could do um, first is we have to combine these two together but um, we need more uh, edges per you know if we have that one edge here and we have three here we need two more on this side so I'm gonna go ahead and add those with uh, an insert edge loop tool so when I add one here and one there that means that if I connect if I connect this guy to that and then this and these guys to the other ones are like spread to uh, you know evenly on the cylinder then uh, this will be sharp but this will be very soft so that's that's what we want so let's uh, try that uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for all of them so grab uh, add, a, add one over here Of course, I did that in the beginning. Uh, I did some, I, I made, I did some tests before I committed to this technique because uh, I had to see what works. So as usual, I didn't start like that. I started with different numbers, and then, then I said, oh, maybe I, I should do that. So I, I kind of like figured out that formula by trial and error. So uh, you guys can figure out some. You can also research online, you can figure out many different ways. So I'm going to select these two, and now since we're going to connect them, I'm going to combine it. 
combine these two meshes okay and this doesn't look the best here but we're gonna fix it in a minute I'm just uh, I'm just looking at the so what we're gonna do is uh, start um, connecting these pieces together so I'll select this vertex and oh wait Yeah, yeah I, that happens when uh, we do edge loops, so I have to control delete. Some of the edge loops went around and they got. I have extra edge loops because uh, they looped around uh, the. So I have to clean up the ones that I, I don't need. So I'll be I'll be just checking occasionally. So now I'm going to select this vertex and move it and snap it to here. Select this one, move it and snap it over here. And this one over here. So already if um, so this is connect connecting and everything is quads. And I'm going to do the same for all these uh, vertices. I only click on one vertex just in case there's like a, a more uh, there's like a hidden edge loop there. We only want three edges, so three vertices per uh, per side. So I'm gonna do that. I'm holding down the V, middle mouse, and snapping the V. Like that, V and snap. These are not connected though, they're not welded. <coughs> so here I see a problem. Uh, to not to not run into this problem, I'm going to I forgot I have to eliminate all that when I get rid of all these faces here. Because that caused this kind of loop looping around. So I'm gonna get rid of these guys and go and see if I have any extra. So here I do have a problem, so I'm going to go and select uh, the edge loop that was added. Control delete. So now I'm going to do another edge loop. I need another one from this side. So grab the vertices. So when you guys start this, uh, just remember to delete the faces back and forth so they don't so you don't end up into this kind of mess. Those are all quads, and I need to uh, add a bunch of edge loops around. Um, I need to add edge loops here so they can uh, control the shape. So a couple of those here, a couple of those over here, maybe a couple over here, and a couple. So if I press three. I get that um, that shape. You can see now that it, it becomes like um, this is a continuous geometry that it's like clean and there's no problem and we have like a soft shape connected to a soft to a, like a smooth shape with like a now these vertices here these edges here <coughs> can definitely smooth out if we start moving them away. start grabbing these and moving them away and, oh yeah uh, I forgot to connect the vertices so let's do that first there we 
let me delete those uh, one of these edges so the vertices that I connected here they're not welded yet so I'm gonna go ahead and let's see I can uh, turn on the uh, x-ray <clears throat> so notice if I go vertex mode and select these it says let's go and open the heads heads up display um, poly count so now if I if it's that's a good thing to have here if you do that and you see two vertices then that's you have to connect those together so you have to go and say merge components uh, merge so now it says one and you do that for everything I will just select the entire um, all these and hopefully they're gonna merge but they're not gonna merge all these two so they did so that's a problem so I'm gonna just say 0 0.001 and I'm gonna do a test I'm gonna see if this is that's one that's one so everything is good um, so now because they're merged notice we have a the transition is nicer so uh, I can also select this edge and move it further away so the transition is better but if I move it closer see that's how it's actually holding the shape now if I go to my side view so I'm getting exactly what we were talking about you know like this kind of um, so this has to move all the way to here and let's turn on the x-ray so there's like a more as a smoother kind of um, transition that should not be that hard because we can actually select that edge and move that so then it's you know so kind of creating that transition this transition is really great because um, it's a combination and you're gonna find that a lot with that's like a lot in the car design and all that that's what they do with that sharpen areas and then they soft areas and then they sharpen them again and that's how it goes the, the loops run together and then the loops start to separate and the edge flow goes like that so that's what we try well, that's what we did here we actually um, created um, a piece that has uh, tight uh, connections here tight areas here and then loose areas on the other side so before I stop this video I'm just gonna select all these faces I don't need all these uh, I need this to be open because I'm going to continue on the next one I'm going to continue to like uh, do the even harder part to connect another pipe with this pipe which is uh, a little bit more difficult so I'm gonna stop here for a second